Hello friends, welcome to Insights Again Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about a topic that is the Bangalore water crisis. Uh, it, should, it is very unfortunate to you know like come across this particular situation in Bangalore. Let us see what are the major issues regarding the Bangalore water crisis. In this particular video, we are going to discuss about following video contents. The first one is context, why it is in news, then the status of the water crisis in Bengaluru. Then what is the day zero? Because nowadays, a lot of reports are saying that Bengaluru may also experience the day zero very soon. Reasons behind Bengaluru severe water crisis. And after we discuss the Bengaluru water crisis, then we will discuss the India status regarding the water crisis. Why India facing water crisis? What are the challenges? And how various government schemes are, you know, like uh, launched to address this kind of water crisis. Then finally, we will draw the conclusion. So these are the components we are going to discuss in this particular video. Regarding the syllabus mapping, this particular topic is related to GS paper 3 that is water resources. Let us see the context. Bengaluru faces a looming water crisis and it promoting and it prompting the concerns of a potential day zero scenario similar to Cape Town. So first you have to understand what is this day zero situation. Day zero situation is all about where the municipal authorities in that particular town, they are unable to provide any water. That means the, the city will be completely running out of water. So that is the day zero situation. Now here, if any one of you are from Bengaluru or Karnataka, you have to tell what is the reason for this suddenly this year, you know, like for last few years, uh, you know, like might be there is a water crisis, but we may not know this much level. But why suddenly this year? What is the main reason you think? Tell me any one reason, okay? Not group of reasons because we are going to discuss here reasons. So, which factor mainly you think caused severe water crisis in Bengaluru? Now, let us see the context. First, let me put a perspective to you. First, water crisis. Any city or any country, when they will face the water crisis, okay? A particular city or country will face water crisis when their usage is increased. That means the usage will be increased, it may be due to urbanization or it may be due to water intensive industries, water intensive industries. It may be due to these two things or else reduced, reduced water capacity due to this concrete jungle, very less seepage of water into the ground and that may also leads to the uh, depletion of the groundwater. The other reason for the water crisis generally, it will be the supply part, okay? reduction of supply. The supply part can be of two reasons. It can be due to the natural reasons, natural and it may be due to the artificial or man-made situation. Okay? Regarding the man-made, this water bodies pollution, water bodies pollution, water body pollution and excessive use of uh, in, you know like fertilizers so that ground water will get saline these are the artificial reasons and natural reasons like rainfall rainfall lowering of rainfall and global phenomena okay global phenomena like uh, el nino el nino and legal issues legal issues okay we can put legal issue under man-made legal issues like like a Kaveri legal dispute between the Karnataka and uh, Tamil Nadu so these are some of the issues regarding the Bangalore water crisis and some of the reasons for the Bangalore water crisis now we'll try to understand more about this particular topic so we can obviously when any particular issue is going on first we have to do the brainstorming what might be the possible reasons then we have to enrich our understanding this is how things will work now let's see so as per the reports out of the 236 talukas in karnataka around 223 they are affected by drought especially the regions of mandya as mysuru district the sources of bengaluru water these are the main districts for the sources of Bangalore water. Then according to BBC, BBC report is highlighting that it is very unfortunately very bad news. It is saying that Bangalore will be the one of the city which is going to uh, run out running out of water, especially after the Sao Paulo of Brazil 
by 2031. So now the city administration as well as the state government they have to take steps so that the ground water level of the Bangalore should be recharged otherwise it is going to be very difficult in the coming future. And the day zero like we already discussed day zero is a situation where city's municipal water supply they are expected to be depleted completely and uh, authorities they may shut down the water connection to homes and as well as the businesses. What are the reasons behind Bengaluru water, water, water scarcity? It may be reduced the rainfall and the water reservoirs kept getting empty and the depletion of the groundwater sources like we discussed inadequate infrastructure it is mainly related to the completion of the phase 5 of the Kaveri project it is expected only by May 2024 for the improved water supply and the climate change it is not related to Bengaluru specific it is the global phenomena and related to India as well especially due to El Nino phenomena then pollution of the water bodies around 85 percentage of the Bengaluru water bodies they are polluted according to EMPRA study it is very unfortunate situation not only in Bengaluru many of the urban bodies we are seeing this kind of situation it is mainly due to unplanned urban growth next mismanagement and inequitable distribution inefficient water management practices also this kind of deteriorating this crisis legal and political challenge dispute over the water sharing with neighboring states regarding the Kaveri river it is also one of the reason so these are the possible reasons for Bengaluru water crisis let's see India situation India is around consist of 4 percentage of the world's water resources which is equivalent to around 1123 billion cubic meters of surface as well as the groundwater resource actually the India situation is very peculiar through rainfall we are getting adequate water but this water is not uniform across the country few regions are getting excess rainfall and few regions are completely suffering from the water scarcity that is the biggest issue that is the reason some experts are suggesting the interlinking of rivers as well rainfall according to the central water commission India receive around 4000 billion cubic meters in rainfall which is higher than its requirements but in 2023 around still 9.1 crore Indians they still do not have access to safe drinking water and this data is indicating that massive water shortage in parts of India what might be the reason like we discussed uneven rainfall that is around 70 percentage of the India rainfall confined to only three to four months and it is not distributed evenly in terms of geographically as well river basin few river basin they are they are receiving more than enough rainfall like Brahmaputra and certain parts of the river Ganges basin but the rest of the river basins they are not getting adequate rainfall next according to Stockholm International Water Institute this institute is saying that due to the over exploitation of water in agriculture also especially due to free electricity and some other measures that that is also contributing the depletion of the groundwater but we can say agriculture in relation to urban water crisis uh, it is not much relatable because generally in the urban area agriculture and agriculture effect is very less next water pollution out of the 603 rivers which are assessed by the central pollution control board unfortunately over 311 are polluted and in 279 rivers in 39 states as well as the you know, duties okay around 311 polluted stretches are there in 279 rivers climate change global level and agriculture practices excess use of the pollutions as well I mean fertilizers it is also releasing lot of pollutants persistent organic pollutants also they are releasing into water and it is causing the you know like pollution the challenges so these are the challenges already we discussed regarding the challenges to overcome this water crisis and the government schemes of course various government schemes launched by union government as well as the respective state government to conserve the water first one is the Manrega this is to support the rural employment and through this we try to conserve the water tell me guys Manrega it is operated by which ministry and it was launched in which year Manrega next to Jal Kranti Abhiyan it is about raising awareness on the water conservation national water mission promoting the sustainable water management Atal Bujal Yojana improving the groundwater management Jal Jeevan mission it is aiming to provide tap water to rural households and national mission for clean Ganga to address the Ganga basin groundwater issues that means whichever the states river Ganges flowing through addressing the you know like uh, groundwater issues in those states 
So these are the various initiatives taken by government of India. Then steps. We can address the water crisis through these following steps. Inclusive water governance, interlinking of rivers because as certain basins are receiving more rainfall, we can interlink with the deficit ones. Promoting the water conservation through water pits and all these things. Promoting the sustainable agriculture where discouraging the excessive use of fertilizers as well as the water addressing the water pollution. So, these are some of the initiatives we can take towards the sustainable water usage. The conclusion, despite water surplus, India still is facing the water crisis. It is highlighting that as a country we require very improved water resource management. And the key lies in credible data collection to understand water demand across various sectors. Okay? So, we have to understand the water demand along various sectors like agriculture, domestic sector and industrial sector. So, by understanding them, we have to allocate water according to the suitable needs. So, the water resource management is the need of the hour. Yesterday's video question, Food Waste Index Report 2024 is released by United Nation Environment Program. Consider the following statement about group of friends. It is around it is regarding, it was launched by India in 2022. It aims to promote accountability from crimes against blue helmets. Right. Kalam 250, which was in news recently, is related to rocket motor. Next, today's video question. Today's question is about, consider the following statement. 36 percentage of India's districts are classified as overexploited, according to Central Groundwater Authority. Second statement, according to Central Groundwater Authority, it formed under Environment Protection Act. Third one, India has the largest area under groundwater irrigation in the world. So, read these three statements and pick the right one. Main question. The ideal solution to depleting groundwater resources in India is a water harvesting system. This is the ideal solution. How can it be made effective in urban areas? So, how to deal this in urban areas? As we reach to the end of this video, in this particular video, we discussed about day zero situation and the reasons for water scarcity in Bangalore and reasons for water scarcity in India and what initiative we can take. And what are the initiative already launched by Union Government also we discussed. So, this is the detailed analysis regarding the water crisis in Bengaluru as well as the I mean India level as well. I hope this video is useful to you. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Jai Hind.